hey friends whoops <laughs> I'm flipping out I'm just trying to get my phone straight so Katherine Ewing here with Sacred Heart Alchemy um, and I'm popping on to do some tapping um, it just occurred to me the other day that so many of us will be having you know some different kind of experience for Thanksgiving um, and probably Christmas as well since it's not likely that things will change much in the next month and I know for myself and for many of the people that I speak with on a regular basis um, you know it's a challenge to think about being alone for the holidays to not be able to travel and see family and friends um, not to be able to go out and shop or just kind of do the things we um, like to do. And so I thought I would get on and acknowledge all of that with some tapping because um, I don't want to just do this sort of spiritual bypass into, oh, I'm so grateful for everything. I think it's always important to acknowledge the feelings that we are having in the moment um, and make our way into um, sort of the higher vibrating emotions. And so, uh, hey Mindy. And so we'll do, so we'll start with some tapping around the challenges and the difficulties and then just shift into, um, into some lighter energy. So um, as usual, I don't really have anything scripted. I just start <laughs> and let spirit um, kind of move me wherever um, the, the, uh, the sort of the path of least resistance is, the path that feels the most aligned with the energy here this evening. I'm going to start as I usually do whenever I do any kind of meditation or tapping or even um, oftentimes in client um, sessions or my coaching group, I like to start with just sort of changing the energy, just using a little sound with the tinkshaws to um, create a little bit of separation from whatever I was doing or whatever you were doing a minute ago into the space that um, we are going to move to here. It's just like a little creating a little sacred container and also allowing the sound and the vibration um, to break up any blockages in our energy and to sort of bring our energy into a little bit of alignment as we start. And of course, as we tap, we will continue to um, come into more and more alignment. So if you're new to tapping, um, awesome. It's great to have you here. If you're an old veteran, awesome. It's great to have you here. <laughs> Just follow along with me. Um, and I will try to remember to say each of the different points as we go through the tapping session. Um, but just to give you a heads up about where we're going to go, if you're not familiar with this, we always start on the side of the hand where we're tapping with the fingers of one hand on the, um, what's called, has been called the karate chop spot or the soft side of the opposite hand. And it doesn't matter which hand we use. Um, we can even go back and forth if that feels comfortable. Um, but you want to use three or four fingers so you're really um, stimulating the, the uh, acupuncture points here to begin to activate the neural pathways in the brain. And so we start here with what's called a setup phrase, and we're actually going to do three um, slightly different but uh, similar setup phrases. And once that's sort of how we sort of set it up. We let the universe or spirit or source or our own sort of mind, body, spirit know what it is that we're going to be working on. We're sort of priming the pump, if you will. And then um, once we use the setup phrase, then we go into tapping on the different points. And I will just quickly move those through you. So we tap right on the top of the head. We tap on the inside of the eyebrow between the bridge of the nose um, and where the eyebrow starts. The side of the eye, right up close to the side of the eye, that very bony part there. We tap underneath the eye, directly below the pupil, under the nose, 
under the lip in the space between, uh, just below the collarbone, below and outside of the collarbone, and then under our arm, about four inches uh, down below the armpit. And once we start tapping um, here on the body, we'll just flow through that a couple of times. My thought is that I will do uh, a couple of rounds of tapping. Um, and so without further ado, let's begin. And we'll start with these setup phrases. Even though this has been such a challenging year, it's really exhausting mentally, physically, and emotionally. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself and all my feelings. Even though there's been so much stress, loss, sadness over this past year, and we don't really know when it's gonna end. There's so much uncertainty. We deeply and completely love and accept ourselves and all our feelings. Even though there's such a sense of division in our country right now, this deep sadness that we feel so separate and apart from other people and there's a level of anger that's new to us. Something that we really haven't experienced. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself and all of my feelings on the top of the head. It's been a really challenging year on the eyebrow. Whoever thought that we would still be here as we come into Thanksgiving and the holiday season on the side of the eye. It feels like a bad dream, like a nightmare under the eye that we can't seem to wake up from. Under your lip, under your nose rather, every day that awareness that we're still in this pandemic. Under your lip, every day that awareness that we can't move through the world freely as we've been used to. On the collarbone, every day the reality that we can't see our loved ones, perhaps our parents, our children, our friends and colleagues under the arm, waking up every day not knowing how much longer this is going to go on. I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm really tired with all of this. I have COVID fatigue and I'm not even on the front lines. I can't imagine what that must be like to have to go to work under the eye, to have to go to work every day and face this pandemic head on under your nose. I can't imagine what it must be like for teachers and others who work in the schools under your lip. I can't imagine all of those who work in direct service, in hospitals, on the collarbone, in clinics, in mental health, on the front lines, on ambulances, and rescue vehicles on the top of your head and crisis units. I can't imagine that pressure. I can't imagine the fear of becoming sick or the fear of bringing virus home to my loved ones. Under your eye, it's been such a challenging year 
racial distress under the lip, Black Lives Matter, and on the collarbone and all of the politics that has our country so divided under your arm. It really is exhausting. It really is stressful. And this uncertainty of not knowing when it's going to change on the side of the eye, when there's going to be any return to any sense of normalcy under your eye. Living with that uncertainty creates a lot of anxiety and stress under your nose. It's really sad to think that I'm going to be spending the holiday alone under your lip. I'll really miss being with my kids or my parents or my other loved ones on the collarbone. I don't think we ever could have imagined that it would be like this under your arm and that we have no idea when things are going to shift. So much pain, struggle and suffering for so many people, people who have lost their lives, people who have lost their livelihoods, people who are waiting for hours at food pantries or on lines to be tested. It doesn't feel real, even though it's been going on for so many months now. So much sadness, so much loss, so much stress, so much worry and maybe even so much anger. How did we get here? How could this be happening? So many unanswered questions. So let's just finish here before we go into the next round. Just finishing up at the call at the um, under the arm. Just taking a breath for a moment. Instead of letting the energy of the acknowledgement of, and all of all of that settle in. And then beginning again to shift the energy. Even though this has been such a difficult year and there's been so much loss of life, loss of income, loss of certainty. I also have many blessings in my life to be grateful for. And I choose in this moment to focus on my blessings. Even though everything feels so divided and there's so much anger in the world and especially in the United States. I choose to look for and appreciate all the good in the world, all the beauty, the ways that we really are connected and the oneness among all of us. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself and all of my feelings. Even though it's easy to feel stressed out and worried, to get caught up in fears about the future and the what ifs, I resolve to stay grounded in this moment, grateful for my breath, for my life, 
for the joys in my life, for this moment, right here and right now. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself and all of my feelings. I have so many blessings in my life. I choose to look for and appreciate the good. I welcome joy into my life in every moment. I'm grateful for this moment right here and right now. I'm grateful for all of the people in my life and I'm grateful for everyone who loves me and grateful for people who I can love. I'm a collarbone. I'm even grateful for the challenges in my life because they allow me to grow in ways that I might never have imagined. Under your arm, I'm so grateful for the beauty of mother nature and the natural world. So much beauty all around us every day if I just choose to look at it. And I'm grateful for knowing that I have a connection to a higher source. That the universe has my back. That things are happening for me, not to me. I'm grateful for the uniqueness of being me. For my skills and my talents and my unique personality. I'm grateful that I'm able to bring all of that to the world in service each day. I'm grateful for endless opportunities, each day bringing new possibility. I'm grateful for the abundance that I have now and for the prosperity to come. I'm grateful for my health, for my eyes that see my heart that beats, my lungs that breathe, my legs that carry me, my arms and hands, and all that they do. There are so many parts of me that work so well and that I am so grateful for. I'm grateful that I can wake up each day with joy and wonder and excitement for what every new moment might bring. I'm grateful for all of the potential and possibility that exists in each day. I'm grateful that I'm able to live life to the fullest, knowing that I am the creator of my reality. I'm grateful to know that I'm not a victim, that I'm a powerful creator, a spark of the divine come to earth. I'm grateful to be able to serve in all the ways that I do. I'm grateful for friends and family and community. I'm grateful for the food in my refrigerator and the lights in my home and my cat purring over there in the chair <laughs> for the simple things, to be able to look around and see the things that I've chosen to put in my home that bring me joy. I'm grateful for all that I am. I'm grateful for all that I have. I'm grateful for all that I do. And I'm grateful to be here with you this evening to tap into this gratitude. So we'll just bring this to a close just breathing in to all that we do have to be grateful for. To remember that on this Thanksgiving, whatever, however you will be spending the day, whoever you will be with, to remember all of the possibilities, all of the joy, all of the wonder that are available to you in every moment. So thank you for sharing your time with me. Thank you for tapping with me. I wish you a beautiful evening and uh, Thanksgiving day and weekend. And I will see you again soon. Namaste.